All right, the next plan that we're going to look at is uh, the comparable plan to the Healthy Blue Platinum Zero plan. Uh, Care First would have mapped you over to the plan called Healthy Blue Plus Gold 750. This plan is a POS plan, which means it has in-network and out-of-network coverages for it. It does have a deductible of $750 for an individual or $1,500 for a family. Again, the individual deductible can be met by one person inside the family unit. So if one person gets hit by a bus, it would be $750 not 1500 The 1500 is the aggregate of the family coverage. The out-of-pocket max for this is $4,000 for an individual or $8,000 for a family when you're in network. Okay. Again, the same rule applies for the individual limit. One person inside the family unit can, can match it. The plan does have out-of-network coverage where the deductibles and out-of-pocket limits are essentially doubled. So just be mindful of it. This is not a plan for you to be running around using out-of-network coverages all the time. If you need total out-of-network coverage, then we're going to be looking at a PPO plan later on. All right, so what does this plan cover? Essentially, this is going to be a heavy copay plan um, for a lot of services with the exception of hospitalization. To see the PCP, which is the primary care physician or the ouchie and boo-boo doctor, uh, it is $0. So if you're sick, you walk in, you walk out, no fuss, no muss. Specialists are $30 per visit. No referrals are required with it. The plan also has some coverages for chiropractic and acupuncture, which is $30 uh, copay per visit. Your preventative screening, which could be mammograms and things like that, are no charge. Be sure when you go to the doctor's office to ensure that they actually write it up correctly so you don't have to pay your copay or get billed with it. For blood work and x-rays, there's no charge with this plan. So you walk in, get your blood test done, you're good to go. Uh, for MRIs, it's $250 per visit, essentially per MRI, if you're only going to get one MRI a visit. This plan does have an integrated drug plan. Uh, for all your generic drugs, there's going to be zero charge. For any of your preferred brand or your non-preferred uh, brand, as well as your specialty drugs, the, it is going to be subject to the deductible and then a copay after that. Again, remember, your, co your deductibles can be subject to one individual inside the household or, again, the family unit is what we're calling it. Your outpatient surgeries, uh, there's going to be two fees for this. One, there's going to be what's called a facility fee and then a physician's fee. The facility fee, if it's done in a surgery center or a non-hospital, will be $300. If it has to be done in a hospital, it'll go towards the deductible, and then it's $400 uh, copay uh, per visit. The physician fee is subject to 100% of the deductible and then $30 after that. Our emergency rooms, it will all automatically go towards your deductible and then $300. However, if you are admitted into the hospital, the emergency room charges will be waived. The nice thing about this plan is it's got a $50 copay uh, for urgent care. Urgent care. If you have to stay inside the hospital, um, like I said uh, previously, you know, hospitalization coverages took a hit. It's going to be 100% of your deductible. For, so for an individual, it would be $750. And then it's $450 copay per day. So it brings you up to a grand total of $3,000 for a hospital stay. Um, and that's if you're in there for five days, whether it's pregnancy, heart attack, you got hit by a bus, whatever they're doing for it. <clears throat> This plan does have some coverages for mental, uh, mental illness. So if you have to do any type of um, counseling or whatever you're doing with those types of things, it is, and it's classified as mental or behavior health, uh, it is no charge for office visits. It's, it's a $50 copay if it's inside a hospital facility. If you're pregnant, uh, you need to pay attention with this. This has prenatal and postnatal natal care. You are not paying any type of, of copay deductible or anything to go get sonograms, things like that for your prenatal and postnatal care. You do need to make sure that they code it, the, they, the doctors code it appropriately because it should be uh, covered at no charge to you. For the delivery, as I mentioned before, it's going to be subject to the deductible and then it's going to be $450 per day up to a maximum of five days. So again, it's going to be about $3,000. Um, other than that, there's a couple other uh, uh, things that you will have um, uh, included in this, such as, excuse me, <clears throat> 
such as pediatric dental and pediatric vision, you will have some coverage for that. Again, this plan offers uh, out-of-network coverage as well, uh, but all of that will be subject to the deductible first. So if you need to see somebody in Oklahoma, it's going to be subject to the deductible and then co-pays. So just be mindful of that when you're using it. Again, this plan is not meant to be used as a PPO where you're just going everywhere. This plan does have a smaller deductible than um, the the silver 2500 POS plan that I covered in a previous one. So uh, what I would say is for this person, um, if you want this plan, uh, you would want to make sure that you have extra money laying around and essentially you're paying for premium instead of deductible. All of the other hospitalization coverages are going to be pretty much the same with it, so you're going to incur that. The only difference, again, with this plan is at $750 versus $2,500, which is $1,750 in deductibles. So if you're looking at this, $1,750 divided by 12 is $140. $45 a month. You're going to want to make sure that you're using this plan um, more than $145 a month uh, in order for this to be practical. I don't really see the gold plans being ideal in any particular situation. Um, the big thing, again, is the deductible for it. It's lower than the silver $2,500 plan. If I were to look at the two compared and I could say, yes, I have a credit card or something that I can put money aside in case I need to use the deductible, then I would probably go with the silver plan given the difference in premiums. Um, but again, that's something you'll need to look at at your individual actual quote. So look at the quote at what Healthy blue gold 750 is going to be, look at the quote for the, um, the silver POS $2,500 plan. Look at the difference between premiums versus the deductibles and then make a, 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 a decision based off of that. The coverages are going to be pretty similar. Again, the big difference is, is in the co-pays. With this plan, you're going to have much more of $0 and 30, whereas with the silver plan, you're going to have you know, 30, 40s or 40, 50s or whatever it is. So again, those are the primary differences between those plans.